Now a powerful interfaith community gathering for a young man tragically gunned down in a senseless act of violence. The life of 16-year-old Jonathan Freeman, a junior at Taylor Alderdice High School, remembered today at a church in Homewood. Pam Surround service. She's got more on it tonight. Pam, good evening. Good evening to you, Paul. A young man dreaming and always beaming. That's how one friend described him tonight, Jonathan Freeman. There was a vigil for him at a large interfaith vigil at that. People are asking the question, why? Why did this young teen's life had to end so soon? And how can there be a stop to violence in the community? You don't know, realize what someone means until they leave. But now you're gone, John. I can't even breathe. Pure, raw emotion. One of the most painful moments at the vigil for the Taylor Alderdice Jr. gunned down earlier this week came from a friend who called him John John. You have to mourn and you have to, you have to let time go on and you have to continue to live your life. You can't be broken. You have to honor the people that you lose by your actions after their loss. That's exactly what this packed house of mourners intended to do at a tearful, emotion-filled vigil at Church of the Holy Cross in Homewood. They wanted to honor the life and loss of 16-year-old Jonathan Freeman, a member of the African American Scholars Club, described as always smiling. He was like a brother to me, and it was um. It was really upsetting to lose him. Jonathan Freeman was at a friend's house after school on Susquehanna Street in Homewood earlier this week when he was senselessly shot. The impact of the teen's tragic death is being felt deeply. The vigil brought out students and parents as well as people of all faiths. Pittsburgh's police chief Scott Schubert and the superintendent of Pittsburgh Public Schools were in attendance as everyone asked how they could stop the loss of life in Pittsburgh's African American community. We also have to hold our family and friends a little bit closer and realize that this isn't just like a an issue in the black community, it's an issue in all of the communities. Jonathan's grandma addressed the crowd to say the outpouring of love and support was helping during a time too painful for any family to bear. It makes us feel like we can have hope. Now, adding to this family's heartbreak tonight, Jonathan's family says they actually were not invited to the vigil, but they came because they heard about it on social media just minutes before it started happening. Now, Church of the Holy Cross released a statement tonight and said that was just an unfortunate accident, and they are holding a special collection for the family next weekend to help with funeral expenses and also extend their pastoral care to the family as well. So far, there have been no arrests in the young teen's death. We're live tonight. Pam Serrano, KDK News.